Okay, so this is going to be a very quick tutorial on how to set up test accounts for security research or uh, other testing procedures that you may need to do on Facebook and you don't want to use your real account. So a lot of people don't realize that Facebook actually allows you to create test accounts that are completely separate from the rest of Facebook in order for the purposes of uh, security research or other kinds of testing that you may need to do. So if you're logged into your personal account and you go to facebook.com slash white hat and then on the left side here you can click on manage test accounts and you'll notice that Facebook has uh, a very easy uh, interface here to create and manage these accounts. So you can just click create new and Facebook will generate a very random name with a very long, long last name uh, and email address. So this person's email address is about 200 characters long. But uh, once you uh, copy that, you can log in to Facebook completely normally, and Facebook will uh, detect that you're using one of these test accounts, and it will segregate this account from the rest of Facebook. So as you can see here, you have uh, your standard you know, Facebook account as if you just created it. Uh, the only thing is you cannot interact with any other people on Facebook. I just search for and you'll notice I only see pages. I don't. I can't search for people, or I can't friend request people. I can't like pages. I can't send messages. That kind of thing. Um, however, you can interact with other test accounts. So I can search for this person, and I can friend request her. That's not working. However, these accounts can interact between each other. So I can log in as Patricia. And so if I go here and I copy uh, profile ID number, it makes it very difficult to. So I have another account here. And you'll notice that I can interact between these different accounts. So this is the account I just created. Um, and you can friend request these people, but notice that the entire group is still segregated away from the rest of Facebook. Um, so that's everything. Very simple, uh, very easy to use. So I recommend using these test accounts rather than your own personal account when you're doing security research, that kind of stuff, so that you don't get banned or Facebook doesn't detect odd activity on your behalf. So thanks for watching and be sure to leave a comment if you have any questions.